Hi everybody, thank you for watching. Um, this is just going to be a short video to show you how you can customize the metronome that's built in the main stage. Alright, so first thing we need to do is go up to this gear symbol, click on it, and we need to make sure this show metronome channel strip is selected. So, so here it's gone. And when I click it, show metronome channel strip, there's this new channel strip that shows up. Looks kind of like the other channel strips. You can make a lot of the same changes that you can on other channel strips. You can change the input, you can change the output. Uh, we're going to start with changing the input. So this is the default sound. So if I click on the symbol up here, that gets the metronome going. So that's the sound you're used to hearing if you use the default. Well, that may not work for you. You may want something different. Um, it defaults to this plugin, Klopgeist. So we just double click it and we can make changes to it. If you wanted it more like that, yeah, or whatever you wanted. So you can mess with Klopgeist if you want. Um, some people like to use different plugins. Ultrabeat seems to be popular, so I'll show you that. We'll go into Ultrabeat. All right. So now when we hit play, so it's using Ultrabeat, but obviously that's not a good metronome sound. So how you change that? We come over here, make sure you're at the concert level, and then click on the metronome tab. And this gives you all of the options. You can change the velocity for the notes and then change actually what note is being played. So we're just gonna we're gonna change the notes that are being played. I'm gonna play it again. I think they were I think it was somewhere around G1. Okay. So here you can see what notes being played. So there we go. I just picked two different hi-hat sounds and made one the bar and made one the beat. So now I've customized. I probably would actually pick something different than that actual sound, but that's um, how you would change it. And you can make it whatever you wanted. Um, you can literally pick any plugin. So if you have something in EXS24 you want to use, whatever. Make it whatever you want. And then this is how you change the notes, customize the velocity, and you're good to go. So now that we have done some customizing in sound, I'm going to show you how that might play out. I have three different patches here. Um, they're different tempos. And so we're just going to play. When we change patches, tempo instantly changes, it follows. Okay, the metronome is always a concert level thing. So, you know, no matter where you are in a set or um, if you have sets if you, or if you have patches or whatever you have down here, the metronome is gonna follow whatever settings you've done in the individual patches. Okay, so here's some of those settings. If you click on a patch, and of course attributes, you can make some adjustments. You can adjust the time signature, you can adjust the tempo and make it whatever you want. So obviously I've already done that. So this one I made a 6-4 timing. And you can hear that um, the metronome has adjusted with the emphasis beat. So now it's playing six beats for every measure. All right, once you have your sound set up and once you have all your patches set up, then you can come over here to the output and send it wherever you need to go. Um, so, you know, usually what I'm using, if I'm running the metronome myself, I'm gonna run my patches and my pianos and all that stuff from uh, into output one and two. And then the metronome, I'll select something different. So I'll just select three and four. And of course, if you pan it, then it'll just go out of, so this will just go out of output three. I actually tend to use buses to do a lot of my routing. So I would send it to a bus instead. And But that's another video for another time. Um, anyway, now that you have that selected, that'll go out of your audio interface and to your soundboard and, and then into your in-ear setup.